Hello ladies and gents, today we are going to make a very quick agent that will help the caller to get things like order IDs. For, for example, if you're working with the e-commerce to give back long numbers, like tracking phone numbers, even for like post offices, right? So this would be quite handy. Okay, can you please give me your order ID number by number? Uh, yeah, sure. My order number is 3034-567. Eight one two three four eight nine two one zero zero one three. Thank you. Let me read that back to you to ensure it's correct. Three zero three four five six seven eight one two three four eight nine two one zero zero one three. Is that correct? Please let me know if any part needs to be changed. Oh yeah, perfect. You got that uh, exactly right. Great, thank you for confirming. A ticket has been created in the system and a team member will contact you as soon as possible. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, that's it, thank you, bye. Thanks for calling us today, have a great day. Cool guys, so that's how you set up an agent that can actually pick up order numbers and talk them back slowly to the user. So I'm just gonna show you the full prompt. This will also be available on my Gumroad, so you can just download and use it for your own assistance. Um, yeah, so uh, basically you are an ID agent in a customer service AR system, and your job is to verify and capture order numbers. Now, this works best as a squad setup. So I've got the setup with uh, five other agents. I call them agents instead of squad members. Uh, I, just, I just like that more, because then it suits into things like swarm of agents i just think it sounds cooler so uh these are the tasks that this agent will do so firstly it will grab the user's or uh, customer's full order number or whatever it is and then follow the appropriate instructions so the instructions are start from here and they go all the way up to here pretty much so uh, what it will do is it will try and read the ID slowly and clearly, emphasizing each section to ensure accuracy and user experience. Follow this example. So we've got, it will, it will try and do this. And then it's got a, like a new line with a comma. So that that helps as well, uh, comma with, uh, with that. And after reading the complete number, ask, is that correct? And please let me know if any part of that needs to be changed. Um, so, uh, it will then try and look back a few times and if it fails, it will then, uh, if the person then is getting frustrated cause they usually will after, after repeating this like two or three times, uh, we'll just, uh, create a ticket with a callback request. Um, here's some extra stuff. And the main thing that I have going on here is, uh, you guys will, uh, if you, ever had trouble with like ending the call nicely, uh, you insert a go to a closing section part and then I have like a closing call section. Uh, and if no further assistance is required, uh, trigger the end call function. So for this, you would need the end call thing to be enabled and then you don't put anything in the phrases. So what I mean by this is so you enable it here in the functions, you enable that. And then you only have uh, this in the end call message. So you don't use the end call, where is it? Ah, oh, there you go, end call phrases. So you don't put anything in here. I found that very buggy. For example, it will say a random word like goodbye in like maybe even in between the conversation somehow or just the word bye then it will trigger this and just cut the call uh, midway through the conversation which you don't want to happen so i found that technique to be the best just put your end call message there and that's it cool so that's the prompt another thing i put in there is the notes section and then say number slowly in a natural manner instead of 601 say six pause zero pause one so this also, I hope I found that helps uh, to read this back to the user. 
Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up. And yeah, so we are thinking of starting up our own course on all this, like on all all of this, like literally. So with like make.com, Vapi, LLMs, Postman, like writing your JHS, API documents, uh, how to do sales and all that. If, you, if anyone is interested in that, let me know in the comments below. But that would be some good feedback to get. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.